Oh, we always love to check in on Whoopi Goldberg. Oh boy. From Ollie London. Ollie London, who is one of my most trusted news sources. We love Ollie. Uh, New York City politicians are demanding Whoopi Goldberg apologize after she falsely accused a Staten Island bakery of refusing to serve her. Staten Island's awesome, by the way. It's like a based little oasis here in New York. The View host claimed the bakery. So if they, t so I kind of hope this this is true. The View host claimed the bakery refused to serve her over her liberal beliefs. Instead, what the hell was she doing in Staten Island? Instead, their oven was broken and they were unable to serve any customers. Staten Island Borough President Vito Facella, that's the most Staten Island name possible, I think, said that Goldberg besmirched and defamed the bakery by making stuff up to suit their needs. And that's what she looks like. Oh, <laughs> bring me cake. God, she really does look like that. It's a great beam. Is that supposed to be Job of the Hut? Or like a relative of Jabba the Hutt <laughs> birds of feather there's a there's what being juicy juicy smolet oh I can't believe she was not fired over that she blatantly lied and tried to destroy a family business oh and she'll get away with it because they all do okay let's see if there's an article do 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 do, 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 do. Remember that uh, there was like a gay couple that wanted a, a cake and the bakery wouldn't make it for them. She's trying to she's trying to like do one of those. Oh, Whoopi. Whoopi, what you saying? Whoopi Small A backtracking because she knows she's getting sued. Oh my God, she's getting sued. How exciting. What is she going to say here? There seems to be a lot of talk about the dessert I requested for my birthday show. I never mentioned the name of the bakery or the location. It does seem a, a little odd that when we called a few weeks before my birthday and we were told they couldn't process the order for my birthday because of an equipment failure, that somehow they were able to accept an order of a different 48 of the same dessert when somebody else called without using my name. <laughs> Did you just decide to Jesse Smollett this whole situation so that you can make yourself look like a victim because oh. it pays to make yourself look like a victim when you're a liberal. You just get that empathy mm -hmm. from everybody who automatically likes to see anybody who doesn't align with your perspective as an evil villain <laughs> who's representing the fascists. What else can we expect from a host from the view they are liars or purveyors of uh, disinformation yep, yep 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 what kind of i believe whoopi's birthday is the same as keanu's november 13th oh my god <laughs> here's whoopi smiley who made this who made this weeks before. there seems to be a lot of talk <laughs> about the dessert i requested for my birthday show i never mentioned the name of the bakery uh -huh. or the location it does seem a, a, a little odd that when we called a few weeks before my birthday and we were told they couldn't process the order for my birthday because of an equipment failure that somehow they were able to accept an order of a different 48 of the same dessert when somebody else called without using weeks before. there seems to be a oi 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 so desperate oh why is bill cannon calling me i will call you back okay she failed to mention that the second staff member ordered the cupcakes after they got the equipment fixed and could catch up on the orders she mentioned the name of the cupcake which only came from that bakery in that location. Don't let her fool you. See, of course. Um, I hope she gets sued and the show gets sued. Sued so bad they leave the airways forever. Barbara Walters is turning over in her grave and these women attacking a small business on The View because she is so self-involved and disgusting. That explained what happened. Let's, I gotta find this clip. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I want to see her attacking this bakery. Whoopee. Bakery drama. 
bakery drama. What we go? Oh my god! Here it is. This is exciting. This is an exciting story. Uh, Halterman's Bakery in Staten Island will be suing Whoopi Goldberg and ABC because Whoopi lied that the bakery refused her service because of her political beliefs. The bakery has been having an issue, uh, having issue with a boiler causing limited bakery baking and couldn't do standalone orders. What they had on hand in the bakery itself was what was available and could be picked up. That wasn't good enough for Whoopi. So she was determined to make them pay on national television. I think $50 million should do it. How many Whoopi Goldberg defamation lawsuits can ABC Network handle? I, this, I think this is like her seventh or eighth. Wow. I mean, this looks really good. And now I want one of these. Welcome back. Those look beautiful. My birthday dessert today is was my one of my mom's favorites from when she was a kid. And she talked about these all the time. They're mm. called Charlotte Russe. And it's a sponge Ooh. cake with whipped cream and a Ooh. cherry on top. Now, I should tell you, Charlotte Russe has no political... Charlotte Russe is also the name of a store in the mall years ago, I remember. It was like similar to Contempo Casuals or Forever 21. Leanings. And the place that made these refused to make them for me. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why even bring this up if you have them? You fucking what? Oh, no, 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 no. Let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> they said that their their ovens had gone down, all kinds of stuff. But folks went and got them anyway, which is why I'm not telling you who made them. But it's I, it's not can't be because I'm a woman, but perhaps they did not like my politics. Yeah. But that's OK, because wow. you know what? Listen, this is my mother's celebration. Yeah. Pick Amen. these up and celebrate with me. Uh, and my mom. Wow. Thank you, everyone, for celebrating my birthday today. I want you all to have a great day. Take a little time to enjoy the view and never let uh -huh. folks get you down. Yeah. Oh, what a loser. OK, so if I Google. Charlotte Ruse dessert, right? New York, where to get it? Um, <laughs> yeah, look at this. She basically told people exactly where this where this was. Let me pull up this map. This this here map. So when you put Charlotte Roos Dessert NY <laughs> into Microsoft Bing. What's the first website that comes up? Charlotte Roos from Halterman's Bakery. That's the very first um, thing that comes up. Whoopi Story is sus. She lives in Manhattan but traveled to Staten Island for cupcakes. Yeah, why would she? Why wouldn't she do a Magnolia or Levain or any of the other uh, reg highly regarded bakeries in New York City. Yeah, m yeah, maybe she wanted this to happen. Staten Island is very, very red. Why and why would her mother's favorite dessert be in Staten Island if they if they are all if they're from Manhattan? Let's see, let's see. Whoopi, I put in whoopsie. Whoopi Goldberg's mom, Emma Johnson. She died in 2010. Um, okay, okay. Let's uh, let's learn about her mom. Okay. Uh, 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 but where is she from? She was on food stamps. Mom was on welfare. The seaweed is always greener. Uh, 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 um. Okay, let's see. Let's find out about her mum. 
Wow, her mom went underwent electroshock therapy. Didn't remember. Ugh, her mom didn't remember her after receiving electroshock therapy. Maybe it just was an excuse. Maybe she was embarrassed. <laughs> okay, where is her mom from? Where is Whoopi Goldberg's mom from? Is she from Staten Island? Do, 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 do. How did she die? She had a stroke. Yep. Uh, uh, in 2010. Uh, August of 2010. But it doesn't say where her mom is from. Maybe uh, the Los Angeles Times will tell me. Okay, let me read. Okay, look at this map. Boom. Boom. Taste. Charlotte Roos from Holderman's Bakery. City lore. And if you click on... I hope this has um, a positive effect on the bakery. I hope they get tons of business. In fact, yeah. This makes me want to make a special trip there. Taste. Charlotte Roos from Holderman's Bakery. Iconic New York City street food. Charlotte Roos is a push-pop style confection encased in a cardboard shell. With a movable bottom. Inside a disc of sponge cake is topped with a dollop of jam and crowned with a spiral of whipped cream. Oh, that sounds that sounds as insanely good. And a nut dusted maraschino cherry. As you eat it, you push the bottom up with your thumb, permitting access to the pastry's deeper layers. Oh wow. It's the only place in the five boroughs that makes Charlotte Russes. Until a few years ago, Bay Ridge's Lesky sold a delicious version available by pre-order. Founded in 1878, Holterman's is the oldest family-owned bakery on Staten Island. The pastry, however, receives no fanfare at Holterman's. There's no banner proclaiming the shop in the last, is the last bastion of Charlotte Russes in New York. The little turban pastries are not set apart on a golden tray. In fact, they sit in the corner of a display case on a plastic tray alongside their pastry peers. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Th these are going to go through the roof, I think. <gasps> these look good. Now I want some. They're nicknamed the Brooklyn Ambrosia and was sold in the early to mid-1900s from street carts. Can okay, so I don't know. Maybe they were sold in Manhattan through some other way. Uh, candy stores and bakeries. Kids love the novelty of pushing the cake up. Licking their way through the layers of jam and cream. Uh, though it looks heavy, Charlotte Russe is actually airy. Removing the cherry and savoring its waxy, syrupy, one-bite burst reveals the enticing hole <laughs> at the center of the cream spiral. The only way to eat the cream is to scoop it up with one's top lip, rotating the cardboard shell as you go. Yum. That sounds good. Um, I really want one now. Okay, look at this. I used to get this at Sutter's Bakery at the corner of Flatbush and Carlton Avenues. Okay, maybe, maybe they used to be sold in Brooklyn. Maybe they're from Brooklyn. You can get this by special order at some bakeries near the city. Reister's in West Hempstead makes them. Oh, that's in Long Island. Uh, there's a bakery in Hazlitt, New Jersey that makes them. Uncle Giuseppe's in Tinton Falls has them. They look great. This also looks like something that would have been featured on Seinfeld. Interesting. Ooh. How much are they? Uh, 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 uh. Hey. Go back, go back. Okay. 
Let's see. E -e 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 -e. Wow. Okay. New York Post is going to tell us what's what. Tell us, New York Post. Okay. Hold the phone. Da, 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 da. Whoopee, whoopee, whoopee. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is, uh, they've been following this story closely. Okay, let's pull up the post. So it doesn't look like the only, only place to get it. New York City, Paul's demand will be Goldberg apologize for false Staten Island bakery slam as stories flooded with orders. <laughs> oh, wow. This is the bakery owner responding to the claims. Oh, wow. A woman. The community that I have to tell you, I'm so overwhelmed by the support between finding out yesterday this even happened, hmm. getting phone calls, and then people coming in, people from all over huh. just supporting us in every way. We had phone calls yesterday from Alabama. Guys, I'm going to give you $50. Send it to a school. Send wow. them donuts. Send them cupcakes. Aww. The support has been so overwhelming. And I know how hard my family has worked to keep this business Aww. alive. And I wish my father was here today to see this. He would Aww. never believe it. My bakers come in two or three in the morning just to have donuts and rolls for everybody to come in and say, we have the best rolls ever. And you know what? It took my whole family. It takes everybody, the community that comes every day to see us. We have this Aww. everyday conversation with everybody. How's the family? How's this? This Aww. is what makes Holtemans Holtemans. It's the community. It's my fellow everything that come out and us giving back to the community that makes this go round. And if it wasn't for you and Staten Island to make this work, we still wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't put a pass Whoopi to like specifically go out of her way to uh, see if a Staten Island bakery would not serve her. Staten Island leaders demanded Whoopi Goldberg apologize for falsely claiming a Big Apple bakery. Well, is it really the Big Apple? I guess technically. Refused to serve her sweet treats because of her lefty politics as the family-run business was inundated with orders. The View co-host sparked widespread outrage this week when she alleged that the beloved 140, 145 years. Whoa. Holterman's bakery on Staten Island declined to make her a batch of Charlotte Russe desserts due to her political beliefs recently. I mean, that's uh, a lot of assumptions there. Whoop. Whoop. Recently, someone took to the national airwaves and defamed, frankly, this family business. Borough President Vito Vasella fumed at a news conference. I mean, they probably don't like her politics and and she just served up a perfect uh perfect advertising for them really Ooh, i wonder if it's oh it looks like it's homemade whipped cream too that's probably delicious we're here to stand up for one of the best families and businesses not just in staten island but in the country frankly the people who defamed the holterman family should apologize for making stuff up to suit their needs not everybody wakes up every day and thinks about politics he added the bakery has insisted they were having mechanical issues with their 60 year old boiler when goldberg initially tried to place the order on november 13th the november 13th order so she could celebrate her 69th birthday on air and that her political beliefs had nothing to do with it now, in the wake of Goldberg's disparaging remarks, owner Jill Holterman says they've been flooded with orders from across the country. I am really overwhelmed, Holterman told The Post. I'm so happy to have the support just to have people come out and talk and build up my business. The owner said she's had people calling up from as far as Alabama and Tennessee so they can donate orders of baked goods to nearby schools and first responders. That is so sweet in a bid to drum up business. Oh. Wow. Oh, we have one today that's donating $150 worth of donuts. 
Holderman said, adding the treats are being sent over to St. Peter's Boys High School for a football game. Somebody else called up and donated a she cake to a firehouse. The other one was cupcakes. They went to PS 37. A steady stream of customers wrapped around the bakery on Thursday and Friday as people flocked to support the business. Judging by the line today, I think one simple message is you don't mess with Staten Island, Vasella said. The uproar unfolded when Goldberg first put the bakery on blast during Wednesday's broadcast. Now I should tell you, Charlotte Roos has no political leanings, and the place that made these refused to make them for me. What a fucking loser. The liberal-leaning uh, host alleged to her audience without divulging the name of the bakery. They said that their ovens had gone down, all kinds of stuff. But folks went and got them anyway, which is why I'm not telling you who made them. Ugh. They didn't like my politics. Goldberg and the rest of the View co-hosts have been in full meltdown mode ever since President-elect Donald Trump won the election. The host has never shied away from her disdain for Trump, even it's going so far as refusing to say his name on air for years. What a loser. Lehu Zeher. Uh... Wow. Let's see what the article from the 14th said. Okay, that's the same video. I think it's ridiculous. Why would you come all the way to Staten Island for her cupcake to make an issue? They've been here forever. Deborah Bernaz, 68, says of the comics claims. I keep forgetting she's a comic. Against the 145-year-old bakery. I don't think it has anything to do with politics. They're a little Staten Island bakery. I think it's bullshit what she's saying. Leave politics out of the bakery. She went into full victim mode on Wednesday. What a tool. No, she just wanted that. She just wanted to be the victim. Oh, there's a picture of the bakery. Oh, look how cute. Oh, wow. Oh, an extra moist crumb. I could go for that. Oh, the, are these them? No, those look like maybe a red velvet cupcake. Oh, look how cute. Strawberry shortcake. That looks really good. Buns and things. Oh. They would never do that. I'm not going into detail, but she's not a nice person. Oh, but you know what? She's getting a ton of business now. Uh, I read she tried to order stuff and made a comment that she didn't get served because of her political stance. That's disgusting. Unbelievable. Give me a break. Who are these people? Oh, they're like they're regulars. Huh. Wow. I hope. Yeah, I guess they're going to sue. That's very exciting. Good for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Don't you don't fuck with Staten Island and you don't fuck with desserts. Is what I've always known. La 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 la. Oh, Whoopi. Whoopi pulled a Jesse Smollett adjacent. They always have hoaxes. Yeah, now I really want to go there. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.